Welcome back to NS Along the Tug Fork, Part 2. Warncliffe, West Virginia. We start on a very frigid morning, March 6, 2013. The wait was very short this morning, not long after setup, headlights appeared with an approaching westbound of double stack containers with a BNSF ES44 number 6342 on the point. Bound for a crew change in Williamson, West Virginia, nearly 33 rail miles from here. Not long after the double stack cleared, another westbound approached. This is an empty coal train entering the Gilbert branch. This line leads to a couple different coal loading facilities and into Gilbert Yard located in the small community of Gilbert, West Virginia. Gilbert was the connection point of two NS predecessors, the Norfolk and Western and the Virginian Railways. This yard serves as the starting point of NS's Princeton and Deepwater District. In Gilbert, a line crosses the Guyandot River with a now-severed connection with CSX's line to Logan, West Virginia. If you are an ATV enthusiast, Trailfest, held annually in town, and both the Hatfield and McCoy and Outlaw trails in the region are unmatched. Our next train is an eastbound loaded coal train. This train is led by a now 2024 retired SD 60 number 6699 and 940CW number 9712. The combined 7,800 horsepower easily handles this heavy tonnage train of Appalachian Gold at this location. After a small break of activity, a westbound work train is next. When you're trackside along the pokey, you never know what you're going to see. Her task around the curve complete, SD 40 2 number 3456, leads the short work train west. At the end, the all too rare sight these days, the old faithful crummy, caboose number 555018 rolling in guard on the rear. Perhaps my happiest sight on this day. Long live the old caboose. May you evade the scrapper's torch for years to come. NS number 2674 and NS number 9814 runs eastbound by this location as light power. Our last train on this day is an eastbound manifest with NSSD 60 E number 6910 in charge. Let's move on to warmer weather at the same location. Here we are in May 2014 and it's truly a difference from the previous segment. After a long wait track side, I was thrilled to hear the sound of anything approaching. Long work windows tend to happen during the warmer months. So the sight of track equipment rolling by me shouldn't have been a surprise. Glory be. The first train is a westbound double stack with an odd amount of power. A total of 5-940 CWs lead this train. The last train on this May 1st day is a westbound auto rack train. With SD60 number 6587 on point. Rail fan tip at this location used the concrete pad platform for shooting. I'm guessing at one point in time this was a man tower with the base remaining. Bonnie's place is really good food if you're hungry. As you can see, comfort is key for long stints trackside. So bring a chair. We move to Memorial Day weekend 2014. The fog is still clinging to the hills, giving a mysterious feel to the awaiting day. With the amount of track equipment sitting idle here, I had no fears of work windows interrupting today's train activity. After a small wait, the fog and the sound of the flowing Tug River was broken by the zings of the rails. The sound announced this approaching westbound empty coal train. 
NS number 9924 and Union Pacific number 4969 glide this long string of empty cars down the Tug River Valley for the yard at Williamson. With the fog now burnt off, our next train in this visit's lineup noisily announces her arrival. The unmistakable chug of a laboring General Electric locomotive reverberates off the rocks of the surrounding hills. Here we see Dash 940 CW number 9755 leading her eastbound manifest train on main number 1 with former Conrail SD60 I number 6763 working to make track speed. On the railroad this location is milepost N437.8 at Farm, which is located just outside of Welch, West Virginia, milepost N401.8. There this train and loaded bulk trains will add a required helper set of locomotives for the shove upgrade. Farm is slated to be the next video release. We've come to our last train of this location and video. NS number 9747 leans into the curve with her westbound double stack train following her lead. I truly hope everyone has enjoyed this look at Warncliffe, West Virginia. More videos of my rail adventures to come. So stay tuned. No animals were harmed during these rail trips. Although, the photographer did suffer a boo-boo during the March 6th trip. Safety tip, railroad ballast can be very uneven to walk on. Tennis shoes are not recommended. I'll see you trackside.